ProLin PLN. Working with other CAD data can be a challenge, and while to date Solid Edge offers great migration tools, our latest advancement in this solution set brings great new capability, the SolidWorks Strong Migration Tool. Solid Edge has two different methods of, of working with non-Solid Edge CAD data. The first is a common approach that most CAD companies are able to do, which is file open. Solid Edge can open up data from a lot of different systems, including SolidWorks, STRC, ProE, Inventor, Katia, and even AutoCAD files. This method is very quick and easy, but has some downsides, such as not having full intelligence, no assembly mates, or no link drawings. The second method is to use the SolidWorks data migration tool. So let's take a look at the whole experience migrating 3D models and 2D drawings. Here we have a directory of SolidWorks parts, assemblies, and drawings. A quick search brings up the migration tool, and the first thing the command needs to know is where the SolidWorks files resides. To use the migration tool, you have to have ownership of one seat of SolidWorks, but it doesn't have to be the latest version, just whatever version the geometry was created in. The Solid Edge folder is where you want to migrate the files as Solid Edge files, and that location will be the SolidWorks migrated files directory. The next three areas are template types to use for your Solid Edge part, assemblies, and drawings. I know the SolidWorks files are all using the ANSI standard, so the default is fine for all three types. If you look here on the left side, this is all the parts, assemblies, and drawing files in our SolidWorks directory. This will also migrate SolidWorks virtual components. If you didn't know which files you need, you can simply select the top level, and Solid Edge Migration will find the associated files for you. We want to do all the files, so we can just use the Add All button to migrate all the files in the directory. All those settings we just went through, you can save those here as a configuration to quickly reuse again in the future. Now rather than waste time seeing a progress bar move across the screen, let's use files that have already gone through the migration. Let's start by taking a look at the log file to see just what happened. Here is the start time for the migration. The tool migrated three assembly files, 30 part files, and three drawing files. Shows things like what SolidWorks version was used, and all the way at the bottom the end time, and this migration took about nine minutes. So let's take a look at the Solid Edge migrated files. When we open the top level assembly file, we'll get this dialog asking us which member we want to open. A member is the configuration in the SolidWorks assembly, and the migration tool migrates all the SolidWorks configurations of that assembly, which is very cool. Here we can see the migrated over under assembly. Now, if we look at the drawing of this assembly, we can notice that all of the views, balloons, and bill of materials have migrated into the Solid Edge drawing. Next, let's take a closer look at one of the subassemblies and the assemble relationships from the migration. The Assembly Relationship Manager is a list of all the assembly relationships in this particular assembly. From here, you can modify uh, each one of the relationships, and in this area, we're going to change the offset to one inch. Oh, did I tell you that these relationships came straight from the SolidWorks files? That's right, and we can go ahead and go in and change any of them. If we select parts from the Pathfinder, you'll notice that all of these parts have relationships, and they're not grounded like the ad hoc way of opening the assembly. If we open up another drawing, we can see that we can drag any of the views around and all of the views stay aligned like they should. We also need to make a design change to this part by increasing the height of it. We need to change the angle to 60 degrees and we also need to have more clearance between the holes and the fillets. Another great thing from the migration tool is all the hole features migrate specifically as holes. Any hole can be selected and changed. The material comes over from SolidWorks file and even custom properties come through. Here we need more clearance between the holes and the rib fillet. No need to edit any sketches, just drag it out or enter a value. While we're at it, let's go ahead and increase the height by one inch to make the part taller. The rib needs to change, and I know I want it to be 60 degrees, and using a dimension will ensure that it's at the correct angle. Making these changes in Solid Edge is that easy, all thanks to synchronous technology. In fact, I believe we're now editing SolidWorks data quicker than we could in SolidWorks. So the changes we made mean that all the views are now out of date. 
but that's no problem part and drawings are fully associated so they'll update. Solid Edge will even go one step further letting us know what exactly changed in the model. So in summary, parts, assemblies, and now the final piece drawings are all intelligently transferred to Solid Edge with ease. But just as important, user assistance is also provided to help you apply your SolidWorks knowledge inside of Solid Edge. Migrating from SolidWorks to Solid Edge has never been easier. ProLin PLM.